We are at Erie National Wildlife Refuge, and you're watching This Week at Interior. This Week at Interior. This week is National Police Week, when we pause to remember those law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty. Interior has 3,600 officers, making up the third largest federal law enforcement agency. This year, we join our tribal partners in mourning the loss of two heroes in 2019, Officer Shannon Lee Barron of the Red Lake Department of Public Safety and Sergeant Stephen Greco of the Miccosukee Tribal Police Department. Secretary Bernhardt was on the road this week, continuing to meet with maintenance staff, law enforcement officers, and employees at national parks and national wildlife refuges in Ohio and Pennsylvania. The trip included stops at Cuyahoga Valley National Park, Erie National Wildlife Refuge, Flight 93 National Memorial, Gettysburg National Military Park, and other locations. The Secretary also visited with outdoor product supplier Flambeau Outdoors to talk about the importance of recreation and the administration's plan to open up the economy. An overwhelming majority of public lands continue to be accessible to the public, with more and more opportunities becoming available each day throughout the country. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Zion National Park, and the Grand Canyon National Park are welcoming visitors again with Yellowstone National Park and Grand Teton National Park coming online on May 18th. Interior this week approved a plan for the largest solar project in U.S. history. Once completed, the Gemini Solar Project is expected to generate enough electricity to power 260,000 homes in the Las Vegas area and potential energy markets in Southern California. The Trump administration remains committed to its America First, all of the above approach to domestic energy production. More than 3 million lake trout and 250,000 lake herring are settling into their new homes in Lake Michigan and Lake Huron this month. The Fish and Wildlife Service has released more than 362 million fish nationally to benefit conservation and angling since 2017, part of Interior's ongoing effort to further opportunities for anglers and to recover our most at risk species. The Junior Ranger Railroad Program is now available online. The National Park Service says the new educational booklet traces the journey of the first transcontinental railroad and brings the rich history of railroads to life in a fun and engaging way. The release comes on the 151st anniversary of the completion of the first transcontinental railroad. Golden Spike National Historical Park in Utah is marking that anniversary this week with the installation of a life-size bison sculpture called Distant Thunder. The 3,000-pound sculpture represents both the wild, majestic bison that used to roam the area and the iron horse locomotives that united the east and west coasts. And our social media picture of the week comes to us from Shenandoah National Park, where the indigo buntings are in full songbird mode in the treetops. Indigo buntings are expert travelers wintering in South Florida, then traveling more than a thousand miles north, flying by night and following the stars. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's This Week at Interior. <laughs>